Hi everyone, today we're going to study the ellipse with center at HK, the major axis is parallel to X axis. First, let us define ellipse. An ellipse is the set of all points in a plane such that the sum of its distances from two fixed points in the plane is constant. The fixed points are called foci, plural of focus of the ellipse. Here we have two points arranged horizontally and we consider this as the foci of the ellipse. Let us draw now the ellipse. Here we have the ellipse. The line through the foci is sometimes called focal axis. Here is the line and this is the focal axis. The point on the focal axis midway between the foci is the center. Here is the center. The points where the ellipse crosses its focal axis are the vertices. So we have two vertices. This is the first vertex and this is the second. The line segment joining the two vertices is called major axis. This line segment in red is the major axis. The line segment through the center perpendicular to major axis terminating at the ellipse is called minor axis. This line segment in green is the minor axis. Now let us define eccentricity. The eccentricity denoted by E of a curve tells us the amount of roundness of that curve. Take note that the eccentricity of circle is zero. The eccentricity of parabola is one. The eccentricity of ellipse is between 0 and 1. And normally, you will see this symbol in the books. E is between 0 and 1. Take note that a small eccentricity indicates that the ellipse tends towards being circular. Whereas, an eccentricity close to 1 indicates that the ellipse is elongated. Let us study the ellipse with center at HK and the major axis is parallel to X axis. Let us draw the X and Y axis. Here is the ellipse with center anywhere on the plane and the major axis is parallel to X axis. The center is denoted by HK. Let us plot the vertices. The first vertex is denoted by V and the other vertex is V prime. We know that the line segment connecting the vertices is called major axis. We assign the value 2a for the length of the major axis. It means to say the coordinates of the vertices are now h plus a comma k that is for the v and h minus a comma k for the v prime. Let us draw now the minor axis. The endpoints are B and B prime respectively.
we assign the value to be for the length of the minor axis. It means the coordinates of the points B and B prime are H comma K plus B and H comma K minus B respectively. Now the foci are here. The first focus is denoted by F and the second is F prime. The line segment connecting the foci is assigned to be 2C. It means the coordinates of the foci are H plus C comma K and H minus C comma K respectively. Let us now take one point of the ellipse denoted by P and the coordinates are X, Y. This is a moving point and it represents all the points of the ellipse. By definition, we say that the distance of one focus to the moving point P plus the distance of this moving point to the other focus is always constant. Now, we are going to write the standard equation of ellipse with center at HK. The major axis is parallel to X axis. And this is X minus H. This quantity is squared over A square plus Y minus K. And this is squared over B square equals 1. Take note that the derivation of this equation is presented in the other video. Next is the latus rectum. There are two latera recta and these are the line segments. The length of each latus rectum denoted by LLR equals 2B square over A. It means each latus rectum has endpoints and the coordinates are H plus C comma K plus B square over A for this point. The other endpoint has coordinates H plus C comma K minus B square over A. On the other hand, the second latus rectum is here. The first endpoint has coordinates H minus C, comma, K plus B square over A, while the other endpoint is H minus C, comma, K minus B square over A. Now, the eccentricity denoted by E equals C over A. Let us see this example. Find the equation of an ellipse with vertices at 1, 4 and 11, 4 with eccentricity 4 over 5. Sketch the graph. For our solution, based on the given, we say that the line segment connecting the vertices 1, 4 and 11, 4 is horizontal. It means the major axis is parallel to X axis. Another given is the eccentricity and this is equal to 4 over 5. By the equation of E, this is C over A. It means to say the value of C is 4 and the value of A equals 5. In here, we can write now the standard equation of an ellipse with center at HK 
and the major axis is parallel to x axis. And this is now the equation. In this equation, what we need is the value of a that we can substitute here later. We need the value of b. It is not directly given in the problem. We need the value of hk and that is the center. In the given, we have the a already. Let us now solve first for b. Solving for b, we have now this Pythagorean relation a square equals b square plus c square. Substituting the values, we have now 5 square equals b square plus 4 square. Simplifying this, we have the 25 equals b square plus 16. The 16 here we will transpose on the left side. So we have now 25 minus 16 equals b square. The difference here is 9 and this is equal to b square. When we take the square root of both sides, the value of b is derived. So the value of b equals 3. This value here is what we need on this denominator. Now let us solve for the center. Take note that the midpoint of the line segment connecting the vertices is the center of the ellipse. So let us use the midpoint formula. So the center is equal to, that is the x coordinate, which is 1 plus 11 over 2, comma, the y coordinate is 4 plus 4 over 2. When we simplify the fractions, we will get the center at 6, 4. So we are now complete with the values for the standard equation. Let us substitute the corresponding values. So we have now the x minus h is x minus 6 here, and this is squared all over. a squared is now 5 squared. Plus, the y minus k now becomes y minus 4. And this is also squared all over b square, which is 3 square, and all equal to 1. Let us simplify the denominators respectively. So we have now 25 here and 9, and this is now the equation that we are looking for. This is our answer. Now let us sketch the graph. Here is the ellipse with vertices 1, 4, and 11, 4. The center is at 6, 4. The endpoints of the minor axis are at 6, 7, and 6, 1. The foci are the points 2, 4, and 10, 4. This is our final answer. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.